is up all my brothers you know i got another video for you guys very important topic actually i think it's a very helpful topic if you are able to if you have the means you know if you have the courage if you really want to improve in this one area of life i really suggest you guys doing a contact sport doing anything that involves you know hitting something, getting physical or something, bumping your body into something. And the reason for that is very simple. You need to get used to um, roughhousing. You need to get used to people testing you emotionally, testing you physically. You need to get used to flat out running straight into people, you know. When things things uh, go over a certain tipping point you need to know how to bring yourself back down to center you know think logically instead of emotionally and these different scenarios happen in contact sports whether it's boxing whether it's american football whether it's rugby anything that involves the clashing into another person a very physical sport physically demanding sport and what playing the sports i I've played what they've done what they taught me is you got to be disciplined you have to be aggressive and you need to be self confident to be successful in those sports you know to do well to play well to have a good match to get a good position get in a good position you need to have those three areas okay you need to You need to take a punch. You need to learn how to take a punch, take a hit, take contact. And you need to know how to give it back, to reciprocate, you know, get that energy back out. And like I said earlier, if someone tests you emotionally or physically, you need to have the emotional uh, maturity to not go out and flat out start a fight for no reason when there wasn't um there wasn't the need to. You know, choose your battles wisely. You learn that through sports, contact sports. Discipline is very important. Every man needs discipline in his life. That's how he goes out and achieves what he wants because he knows that he needs discipline to follow through with those actions, to follow through with those goals because they're not going to achieve themselves. He needs to put in the work. So discipline is very important. taking being able to take a punch being able to take an insult is very important because people are going to try and get on your nerves people are going to try and get you down you should just be on that level of self confidence self assertiveness that you don't allow that to affect you, you know, the crowd will be screaming all sorts of things to get in your head you know, to mess with you to test you and you should blo- you should be able to block that out you should be able to continue with the task at hand you should be able to focus on what's important and block out the negative the negative energy coming in coming at you and that's why i really advocate for contact sport you need to be capable of violence i don't mean you should be a violent person but if push comes to shove you need to be able to take a punch take a hit and you need to be able to give one back out you know you need to be able to dish one back out i am not advocating violence i'm not advocating being an asshole being an aggressive person to other people but the aggressive and assertive people get what they want out of life the dominant people get what they want out of life but you got to have balance okay too much of one thing is a bad thing you got to have a balance depending on the situation depending on the setting depending on the turn of whatever is going on you need to be able to read the room that's what I'm trying to say when to use what what skill you require that's important you need to be an all around man not just good at one thing have your finances sorted have your physical um, wellness your well being sorted you know, have your business sorted have your social life sorted you know have some fun time as well some me time sorted be an all around good human being but contact sport that just takes everything to the next level you know 
me personally playing rugby, I've gained many friends, many, I'd like to say lifelong friends, because I see some of those guys as brothers, because we are all putting our bodies on the line for each other when it comes to playing a rugby match or uh, playing up uh, an opposing team. We are all throwing ourselves into, into other people, you know. We are putting, we are literally putting our bodies on the line. You never know when that one match will be your last match because of an injury or because of a mistake. So you are definitely um, playing every match like it's your last. You are putting everything on the line. You can get a concussion, you can get a broken shoulder, uh, you can break your neck. And I pray that none of that happens to any of the people that I know, to anybody in general actually. But things like this happens and you need to be mentally prepared for that. You know, things like this will happen in life as well. You know, you will lose a friend, you will lose a loved one and you need to be able to cope with it, you need to be able to deal with it. It just throws a lot of situations at you that you will experience in one way or another in life. Maybe it's in a different um, different way, but it's kind of in the same, same on this, built on the same principles. That's what I wanted to say. So do a contact sport, do a sport that pushes you to your limits, you know, that tests you mentally, that makes you feel like the only way to succeed, to improve, the only way is to have self-confidence, to have that self-belief and to put in the work. Those are key principles, key core values men need to be successful, you know, discipline, having that aggressiveness to go out and chase what you want, having that self-belief that you are capable of doing whatever it is you put your mind to. I hope that, you know, this topic was a bit more interesting, it's a bit different. Hope you really resonated with what I said. But until next time, you know, stay on your grind, stay on your purpose, keep on improving, chase success. Don't chase fame, don't chase goals, chase success. You will be a happy and fulfilled person. Until next time, peace guys.